All right, parents, we're going to be starting a lesson 11-7 for math today. What are some ways you can count on by tens and ones? Let's find out. What does the chart show? Okay, so this is where we want kiddos recognizing that this chart starts at 1 and it goes all the way to 40. We also want students recognizing that the yellow number here is 17. And from 17, we're counting by 1s up until we get to 23. Now, today's lesson is tricky. It's going to have kiddos start to recognize that when we move down the very next row in the column, directly down, that that's adding 10 more. That is a huge mental math concept for a five and a six year old. Some kids are developmentally ready for that and some kids are gonna struggle with this lesson. All I'm gonna tell you with this is that to do what your kiddo can, this whole math practices and problem solving lessons, that's what they say right here, okay, it's reasoning and reasoning is very hard for five and six year olds. It's not to say that it's not worth a shot in giving it a go, but I'm just gonna let you know that it may be complicated, okay? So we're gonna watch this video, make sure your kiddo watches this, it will help, um, and then you're gonna try to chunk through some of this lesson. The chart shows counting by ones first and then by tens. What number is used to start? Counting starts at 17. What numbers are counted from 17? 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 33. You counted by ones first. How many ones did you count? You counted six ones. Then you counted by tens. How many tens did you count? You counted one ten. In all, how many did you count up from 17? You counted six ones and one ten. You counted up 16 in all. What number is at the end? 33 is at the end. What does this chart show? Okay, so on this chart we're starting at 17 and it doesn't count by ones at all. So one of the things that you can remind the kiddos is when we move directly to our arrows to the um, right here as we count up, that's counting by ones. Okay, When we jump down, we're counting by tens. So here this chart is counting one ten and then it's counting by ones. So we have one ten, and then we can count our ones. One, two, three, four, so, and that's what you can basically have your kiddos do with this, okay? They can do the try it here, um, and uh, where this is basically the entire lesson is gonna be about this. It shows counting by tens first, and then by ones. What number is used to start? Counting starts at 17. What numbers are counted from 17? 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. You counted by tens first. How many tens did you count? You went from 17 to 27. You counted one ten. Then you counted by ones. How many ones did you count? 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. You counted six ones. In all, how many did you count up from 17? You counted up 16 in all. What number is at the end? 33 is at the end. What is the difference between the two charts? The way that 16 was counted is different. Did changing the way 16 was counted on change the end number? Okay, so your kiddo should be able to say, no, it didn't change the way you could do either one. No, you counted the same number of tens and ones. So you still counted the same amount each time, 16. Both ways end at 33.
Okay. So, like I said, I think this lesson is very challenging. It's asking kids to think about tens and ones, which has been so very slightly introduced um, in our like morning calendar time routine is when we have done it. But I'm talking about there's not been a solid math lesson on it for this whole kindergarten unit because it's really not a huge part of our kindergarten math. So please don't stress if your kiddo is struggling with that. If worse comes to worse, you could have your kiddo count by ones all the way up, and that is developmentally appropriate. They should be able to do that. Again, if your kiddo is seeing those patterns and they're developmentally ready to count by tens, please let them do it and see how they do with that. Okay, so we're going to go through some together here. Okay, so there we're going to be solving it both ways. One way we're going to be solving with counting by ones, one way we're going to be solving by using tens and ones. Begin at the three and it says to count up 15 places. So the very first thing I would have your kiddo do is use their pencil to count up 15. So I start at three, okay, and I'm gonna count 15 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I would have them do a line in each box. I'm just, it's just hard to do with um, this pencil. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Stop there, okay, I circle the number that I stopped on. Okay, so I would ask kids, okay, how many did I count up? 15. What did I start on? What did I stop on? I also like to relate that this is another way for kiddos to have, if they started at three and we counted up 15 more, that's just another way to show that we're adding 15. So this is just another way to do addition. And I think that sometimes does help kids. Sometimes it throws them for a loop and it's, they struggle with that too. Just again, it just depends where they're at developmentally. So if this helps your kiddo, if they're struggling with the concept, this might help them understand, oh, we're really just adding 15 more. Okay, counting on, counting up, those are just the same term for adding right here. Okay, so then on this one, now they're gonna want us to count by tens and ones. Okay, so if your kiddo can't do it another way, you can show them another way here, okay? So here, we're going to count by tens first because, and see, again, this is why I think this is so advanced because if a kiddo starts counting by, um, tens here or counting by ones, I mean first, then they could get confused and they're not going to know when to jump down to the next column. Um, so it's really, it's just, I don't know, it's just to me, it's a very complicated um, thing that they get much better at in first grade. So here we're going to count by tens first. So we're going to jump down a 10. So we, that's 10 right there. We just said, how many did we count? 10. Now we have to count 15. So we're not done yet. We already counted 10 and see here again, this is why this is so complicated. Now they have to know that they've counted 10 here already and I'm not done, I have to go up to 15. So what comes after 10? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, stop there, okay? Again, very complicated to do that. There's so many things going on there that they need to know. If you wanna give it a shot, go for it, okay? This is one of those lessons that um, is typically like an extra bonus lesson for us because so many kids, who the kids who are ready for it, they rock it, but the kids who aren't, it's super frustrating for them. Okay, so here's just a repeat of the video that we've done, all right? And then down here, again, it's just more practice. So um, you can see down here, it's telling you where, where to start and stop at, okay? So here, this path is counting by ones, okay? And here, so here we're counting by ones, we're counting each number, you can see that because they go in a direct row. Here we're counting by tens first because it jumped down 10 and then we counted by ones over here. Okay, so again, if your kiddo recognizes it, great. If not, just count by ones and see how they do, okay? Please don't stress about it. They will get so much better at this in first grade. Okay, so make sure that you're using the chart, the directions down here to tell them where to stop because that's where you actually need to be looking. So down here it says, start at 42 and make a path to show count up 21 more. So here we want to tell the kids, okay, we're going to count 21 more. You can, and here it'll tells you, it tells you, should they do it using ones or and then tens. Now listen, if your kiddo is just so struggling so much with the ones and tens things, okay, whatever, just let it go and just count by ones. Okay. But if you think that they can get it, you want to keep working on it by all means, please. So we're going to count by tens first here, 10. Okay. And some kids, again, aren't going to know, okay, well, I counted by 10. I can do 10 more because 20 has two ones in it. You see how complicated this gets? One more would make 21. Here's 10, here's 20, here's 21. If your kiddo is doing that, that's fantastic. Another way that they could do this, let me show you another way. They could count by 10, okay? And then they could count on 11 more, okay? So there's multiple ways they could do it. 
Okay, or they could do it this way. You could, like I said, this one asked for tens and ones, but if you wanna just do it with ones, you could start at 42 and have them count up 21. So they'd be counting each one of these until they get all the way to 21 and they're gonna stop, okay? So I'm not gonna go through and do all of these for you guys. I understand that they are tricky, um, but like I said, don't stress, do your best. If it's really a nightmare, you can stop it. Um, or like I said, just count by ones. I think that that is where most kiddos are at developmentally, so don't stress, okay? I'm sorry, I keep repeating myself. <laughs> Hope you guys have a good night.